All right, coming up next, what should be a good lightweight clash between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. So here is the former featherweight contender, now lightweight contender, Dustin Poirier. Since moving up to 155 pounds, Joe, he has really found his groove. He was reluctant to make that move because he realized so much success down a division. This is one of the winningest featherweights in UFC history. No denying, though, he is where he belongs now, up a division at 155, where he has proven to be a tough out, really, for all comers. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, Use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl. And if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. Well, what a moment this is as the notorious Conor McGregor, the champ champ, makes his return to the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. You know McGregor cares an awful lot about his MMA legacy, so you know this return to the UFC was an eventuality. Perhaps it took longer than many fans expected, but the present is Conor McGregor walking back to the octagon here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters 29 years of age. McGregor will have a two-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you all Sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 5 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Polona, Dustin the Diamond And now, he is his opponent, fighting out of the race corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Dublin Island, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? It's we fun. are underway. All right, so here is Dustin Poirier. As round one gets underway, he's seven in advance of this one. This is not a street fight. I've got to stay unemotional and not just try to hurt him. i got to be defensively responsible. Easier said than done for a fighter as gifted offensively as Dustin Poirier. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? One thing to keep an eye out from Conor McGregor are his kicks. Very unpredictable, very creative with his kicking technique. Pretty good jab there by McGregor. 
blocking all the shots coming towards his head. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Oh, huge block! He's blocking almost all these shots. Even when you block those, they'll still stun you. McGregor gets touched by that kick to the body. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Poirier. And he lands a big right hand counter. Watch the shot here, Joe. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice jab there by Dustin Poirier. Oh! oh he tagged him with a left hand. Big punches here. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening tackle. Poirier's uppercut is blocked. Oh, he missed that kick. Punch is blocked. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Dustin Poirier. Quick jab. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by McGregor. Really missed with that right hand. How about that chin? He's doing a great job of blocking things here. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. That shot blocked by McGregor. That one sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. There is the horn, but not before he got a huge knockdown. A great round from Poirier. Big knockdown. Very important, significant damage. Probably. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Hey, you ready? You ready? You ready? Round two here. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Well, Joe, we stand corrected a little bit here. We thought we'd see a big kicking attack out of this fighter here tonight. Not sure if there's an injury or something we're not seeing, but we have seen very few leg kicks executed or even thrown by him here tonight. Let me show you the total strikes. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Going for the head kick. He misses there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Effective punch there by Poirier. The punch coming, it's blocked. Eats a, a nice right hand. And there's a takedown attempt. Slightly deflected. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. 
Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And he's looking for that left. Fourier's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swell. Trying to establish that jab. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show off the defense here, though. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Third round underway. So far, phenomenal performance that we're so privileged to be able to watch. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. That punch will work right through the goal. He's doing a great job blocking these shots. Well, at some point, you've really just got to start mixing things up a bit more. Get some strikes to the body. At this point, he's really just been a headhunter. Constantly a moving target. He's taking some shots now. How about that chin? Just out of range with that right hand. Blocks the shot. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. And there he swung with a haymaker. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. He's moving to the left, avoiding his opponent's big left hand. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. McGregor's cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Here's a perfect head kick.
Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Straight to the body by Dustin Poole. Wow! Oh! on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Close quarters for a while. Now they separate. Oh. oh, nice jab by Dustin Poirier. Both men landing in that exchange. The next there with the punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Poirier. Conor McGregor gets hit with a kick. That looked like a hurt oh, oh, Huge elbow there. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Roundhouse kick gets through. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. How about that shin? Just missing on the high kick there. Lead hook is good by Connor. He blocks the punch. Final minute. Oh! He's out! Landed a huge kick for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. Let's go to a different angle. Check it out again. Boom! And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Liliana is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! Well, what a legacy it has been for the two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor, and he only adds to it here tonight as he gets his hand raised yet again. Doubt this man at your own peril, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like every time the doubters get on board, Conor finds a way to mute them all, and he does exactly that here tonight. Another massive, massive win for the future UFC Hall of Famer, the notorious...